what is going on everybody i hope everyone is doing well all right today i'm going to be doing a step-by-step -step on how to use the reclaimer to do some salvage missions so things have changed in 323 and i'm just going to explain now the process and the sequence that we have to go through to actually operate the salvage uh, equipment here on the reclaimer on salvage missions so we are on our way over to a caterpillar this is actually pretty cool now uh, we're not just focused on hammerheads but we'll have hammerheads we'll have uh, the caterpillars as we're uh, approaching and then a couple of other big ships so as we come up to this caterpillar i'm gonna adjust myself so that way i'm square on and that's what i'm gonna be doing right about now So the first thing I'm going to try out here is actually going to do some scraping. Uh, my last video I had quite a few viewers actually tell me that scraping is where it's at. Scraping is basically where you take your scraping heads, which is behind the pilot, uh, we'll be there in a second, and uh, you're scraping the material off the top of the hull. That seems to be worth more money than the actual construction material itself. So as I position the ship a little bit up and away from the normal spot where the claw would be, I'm doing this purposely because of the, the scraper. So over here, I'm going to switch over to shields. I'm going to ensure that the shields are at maximum uh, by diverting power straight to the shield. So you see it's all, all four areas are all 25%. That's fine, just in case if we get attacked uh, any which way. So now we're going to head over to the scraping area. Like I said, it's in the rear compartment right here. So we're going to use the right side. Hence why I positioned the ship the way I did with the caterpillar. So as we get into this uh, seat, you're going to see the top left is for the power button right here. You're going to click on that. And then on the lower screen, there's another one where it says uh, enter remote turret right there. Click on that. Once you're in here, um, you're going to be able to get a good view. So like I was saying, this is the main reason why I positioned the caterpillar or yeah, the caterpillar to the reclaimers I did. Now, the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to right click. Right clicking is going to be able for you to toggle back and forth. Left click is going to be able to activate your, your scraper head. Now, if you're doing an illegal mission and you use the tractor beam, you're going to get slapped with a crime stat and you're going to get charged with uh, illegal towing. So first thing you want to do is hit that right button so that way you're not uh, towing. Now, what we're going to be doing over here is uh, repositioning the the reclaimer again so that way we are square on with the crosshairs we're going to go over to the claw now this is where things get a little bit tricky before you just jump in and it turned on and you do your thing so what we're going to do is first we're going to press and hold f okay now just above the left arm right there we're going to hit the power on once that happens we are going to press m M is for toggle mode, that's going to deploy the arm. We're going to use the left uh, mouse to activate the, or to shoot the toggle, or sorry, shoot the fracture mode. Once that's done like so, we're going to switch over to uh, disintegration but before we do that i want to reposition there's going to be a lot of back and forth going in between the pilot seat and also the claw seat uh, that's just be uh, to be able to get square on so you can get max amount of yield or max amount of uh, material being sucked in uh, by the reclaimer so here we go again oh once you set your uh, power on modes once you go back to get out and go back to the seat you don't have to worry about turning the power on it's just going to be on automatically and then all you just got to worry about is toggling between fracture mode and disintegration mode so this is a process that i like to call crack and snack All right, so now that we have all that, we're going to be flying away out of uh, out of the no, the legal zone. So I'm just going to, the this shot looks so cool. I love the tail. That's so cool. Anyways, okay, now we're down in the salvage processing hold. We're going to get to the tablet. Over here, we're going to press and hold F. You get a couple of things. As you can see, there's material. So you have, right now we have two options of uh, for a recycle is, and then more options so we're going to go to the maximum mount make sure that we're going to hit the eject auto eject and uh, that's going to 
push the materials out. On top here, you can see how much material we have for recycle and how much material we have for construction. Once we got that going, the machine's gonna spit out some boxes depending on the size of the boxes you selected and uh, we're gonna use the mouse. So press the left button to fire and uh, attach it and now you can use uh, the mouse wheel. You scroll out, the box goes further away. You scroll back towards you and the box is gonna come back towards you. And then once it's out, if you want to rotate it or turn it around, press and hold R. And then with the mouse, just move the mouse around, either left, right, up and down. So left and right turns, it rotates it left and right, up and down, rotates it up and down. So another thing you guys also have to uh, understand is that the tractor beam, it actually disappears once it goes red. Because of going around a corner or anything, it loses the hold and it'll drop the box like so. All right, so we're going to go fast forward all this and just uh, eject a lot as many boxes as we can. We got another um, another mission here, so we're going to do the exact same thing, but this time it's going to be with the Constellation. Uh, same idea, we're going to scrape, then we're going to fracture, then we're going to disintegrate. All right, so we got set. What's going on here? What? What? Oh, are you serious, dude? Just ran into that ship. What the heck's going on here? What? <laughs> what is going on? I just flipped up, and there's another one. What? Is this supposed to be security, guys? Oh my gosh. Okay, let's try. Let's try to see if we can salvage those ships. No, it doesn't look like we can. Uh, I guess the power must be on. Must be soft dead. Or the shields are still up. Jeez. Seriously? Yeah, we can't do it. Yeah, it's red. What the? <laughs> and look, they just disappeared. I don't know, man. Uh, whatever. Let's just continue. Alright, that is it for the video. I hope you enjoyed it. As always, this is the kind of thing that you like. Think about of subscribing also don't forget to hit the notification bell so that way you are notified every time we release a new video as well as if you like the video give us a thumbs up that helps us with the algorithm until the next time who knows maybe we'll see you out there